guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video. Now you'll see that I'm in a different place today. <laughs> Let's do that. My family are cooking breakfast downstairs and I thought I need to do a Sunday video. I'm on holiday in Cornwall at the moment. This is my second day here. The sun is shining. It's so beautiful and peaceful. Kind of I've talked about this a lot on my Instagram recently and that is about the whole theme of balance. What is balance? The word is just completely thrown around at the moment but I wanted to kind of explain what my version of balance is and how I kind of keep in shape on holiday but without going crazy. So first of all balance for me is finding your happy place and that's where I am at the moment. I am not super lean by any means but I am also confident in my own skin. So if I say gained like I don't know five pounds extra my jeans would start to feel tight, my clothes would start to feel tight, I would feel almost like not myself and that wouldn't be productive for me because I need to feel good and also like in my line of work but to be honest everyone needs to feel good in order to be productive, focused, have more clarity. You can imagine a lot of people who just like gain 10 pounds over a short amount of time it probably wouldn't be what they wanted to do. So it's all about finding what you are prioritising at the moment. For me, my priorities are work. So to focus on my business, to focus on my social life, that means that actually right at this moment, being super, super lean isn't, isn't on the agenda. But still, I need for me, like I said, to maintain a physique which I feel really comfortable in. So how do I do that? So the majority of the time I do track my macros and that enables me because I've tracked them for so long, often I don't have to weigh out my food. So if I go out for breakfast, I can tell what like 120 grams of sourdough is. I can tell what a medium egg is and a large egg is. So I track it using my fitness pal. So tracking food, even if it's like loosely tracking, enables you to have a rough guideline about where you're at at that moment in time. So if you think, but what are my macros? So there are so many different ways that you can track them and often people like put a figure on it, say my macros are like 1,865 a day, but actually our bodies uh, adjust, they adapt and also like it, it depends on like how many steps we do a day. Is it like around our menstrual cycle if we're girls? Is it like what intensity did we train in the gym? It has so many factors. So I think people put in a, like an actual like to the gram macronutrient and having to stick to that. It's just not gonna be a way of life. You need to be flexible. You need to think about how your body is adapting. So moving on if you do not want to track macros. So on holiday, I just don't do that at all. But you still want to maintain a certain physique. So what do I do? So every day when I'm on holiday, especially when I'm in like a perfect little fishing village like I am now and the sun is shining, the seagulls are obviously making a lot of noise. I went for a 45 minute walk today. I listened to a podcast. I listened to a Lewis Howes podcast about being an entrepreneur. So that was really good and like focus my brain made me feel really happy. I was like, oh, motivated. And we'll normally have quite a healthy breakfast. So by healthy, we've got some fresh bread, some fresh sourdough, and I will have some poached eggs with that. And then throughout the day, I will, we're in a fishing village. So I love fresh fish. I will make sure that I have a good amount of protein in the day and I will try and have like green veggies when I can. I'll drink a lot of water. If I'm gonna have an alcoholic drink, I tend to do that in the evening. So it's about thinking and understanding what foods are right for you, what foods will make you feel good and also not putting a label on certain foods, not saying if I have ice cream that is a bad food or it is like a cheat meal because by putting a label on something you are instantly telling yourself like it's like a naughty food, I, if I eat it it's like a bad thing, I've done something really wrong where actually 
that if we just say that I'm going to eat because I know that eating certain foods is going to make me feel good, but if I have that ice cream, I probably know that that will taste really delicious, but actually afterwards I might have a crash, but that's probably, that's going to be okay and you just move on. I think it's feeling this guilt over certain foods and then it's that vicious cycle which kind of maybe can turn into like a binge cycle and it's just a really negative way of thinking. Sorry guys, there, there is also a bus coming right now. So moving on to my next point as well and what people really struggle with holiday is naming a little bit of weight. So gaining a little bit of weight is pretty normal on holiday. You are having some downtime and relaxing. Go on holiday for a little bit of a break because at the end of the day, you need to make memories and life is for living and you need to have that enjoyment. So it is prioritizing what is important at that time. And I almost think going away is probably more of an important priority than being like 3% leaner. So I really hope that little short snappy chatty video helps you in some way guys and I really wanted to touch upon it because it's something that I'm really passionate about at the moment and it is finding that little happy balanced place that I am just so content in at the moment and I just really want to kind of give you guys the information that I've learned along the way. So if you have got any questions, please make sure you pop them in the comments below. I will be really happy to answer your questions and I'm really appreciating like the little family that we've got on here and how much my channel is growing at the moment. It feels like I've got into a really consistent routine with these. So I apologize about the seagull noise. I apologize for some of the traffic, but welcome to Cornwall guys. So on Wednesday's video, I will be back in London, so until next time guys, I will see you on Wednesday.